Hello guys! Welcome back again to my YouTube channel! So for those who doesn't know me, I am Paolo Bridge, your Pinoy nurse in Singapore. So I guess some of you are wondering why I suddenly speak in English because you know, my content is how to pass Singapore nursing board exam. So I'm going to share all of you to all my international fans, I will share of you how did I pass my Singapore Nursing Board exam. This content is very helpful for my international fans who wanted to be a nurse here in Singapore. And by the way, just a quick history, I started working as a nursing aide here in Singapore. So I took two examinations. First examination that I took before is enrolled nurse examination and second is registered nurse examination or for the staff nurse so what are we waiting for let's start now <laughs> excuse me for my grammar as long as you understand me i'm fine with it <laughs> so first is for the enrolled nurse examination so before that i will define what is enrolled nurse enrolled nurse is as an enrolled nurse you will assist the registered nurses to provide holistic nursing care for patients so, enrolled nurse is considered as assistant of registered nurse here in Singapore. So, who are those enrolled nurses? By the way, guys, this Singapore Nursing Board exam are for those foreigners who wanted to work here in Singapore. Okay? So, basically, enrolled nurse is assistant of staff nurse. Enrolled nurse are for those foreign nurses that their experience is lesser. Their work experience in their home country is lesser. So they are not fit to be a registered nurse first. But enrolled nurse can be a registered nurse. Okay? So when you take your enrolled nurse examination, so first, by the way, Singapore Nursing Board exam for enrolled nurse is 60 items. Six, zero. 60 items, multiple choice examination. In the 60 items examination includes everything. But what you need to remember when you take your enrolled nurse examination, you need to think that you are assistant nurse, that you are not a staff nurse. So example, even you're a staff nurse in your home country in Myanmar, in India, or in Philippines, when you take your enrolled nurse examination, make sure in your heart, while you're taking the examination, think that you are assistant nurse. Okay? That is my first tip. Second tip is, you need to know how to do elimination. So actually, this is a multiple choice exam. So of course, when you're taking a multiple, multiple choice exam, you need to eliminate first the incorrect answer. Never eliminate, <laughs> never eliminate the correct answer, okay? Or else you will fail the exam. By the way, guys, the examiner will give you one hour to finish the examination. And when I took this exam, by the way, it is a paper paper examination. It's not computer based. And some of my friends they did uh, computer based examination. So there is a paper examination or computer based examination. Next in my tip is download the NCLEX License Practical Nurse Examination application. So you just search in your Google Apps or Apple Store and try to practice the exam there. So actually my friend told me it is some of the exam are same in the Singapore Nursing Board exam. So I think it is a big help if you practice your examination in that application. The funny part for this enrolled nurse examination, actually I took this um, quite long time. I remember I prepared for two weeks. I studied for two weeks. One of my friends studied for three days and one of my friends never studied at all. But we all passed the examination. <laughs> so it's up to you who you want to follow. Either me or two of my friends who studied three days and never studied at all. So I'm not saying that and this enrolled nurse examination is very easy, but it's better that you study because or else, I mean, if you fail, then who else you need to blame yourself, right? It's better to prepare rather than not to prepare. 
never underestimate this examination because some will still fail this examination. But based on my observation and what I've heard from others, it's like maybe like 10 to 5% only will fail this examination. Most will pass this examination. So it's like 90% will pass this examination. Basically, for enrolled nurse examination, it's all fundamentals. All the basic thing. So sometimes basic thing is the difficult also. Sometimes we forgot already what is the basic, right? So sometimes we tend to forget what is the basic. So sometimes if we ask this question, then we don't know what to answer. So it's good to remember. It's good to study the basic knowledge for nursing. So another tip of mine is go to Singapore Nursing Board website. Then check the roles and responsibilities of enrolled nurse. And I'm sure they will base the exam or mean the question in that what I've said earlier, never think that you are staff nurse when you're taking this exam. So if they ask you a question about what you will do if your patient is experiencing like this, make sure when you're choosing the answer, make sure that answer is applicable for enrolled nurse responsibilities. If not, then refer to your staff nurse. <laughs> when you pass the examination, you will never know how high or how low is your grade. They will just tell pass or fail. Okay? And they will tell your employer first. But actually, you can check in your website. So when you see IPA, then IPA means what? In principle of approval, means you pass the examination already. Give you an account that you can check in the SNB website. And it is usually three to four weeks. You need to wait before the result will come out. That is based on my experience, okay? So, what's next? Next is for registered nurse examination. Of course, if you are enrolled nurse, you can take also the staff nurse examination. And also, you can take straight away the staff nurse examination if your experience is good. As your experience, then you're fit for and road nurse examination. So if your experience is much better in your hometown, in your home country, then you can take the staff nurse examination straight away. And remember guys, you cannot apply for this examination, okay? Only when you have employer. So employer, your employer will be the one who will apply this. It's not you. So let's go for the staff nurse. So for the staff nurse, like what I said, same thing, 660 items examination, multiple choice. Make sure you remember to do elimination when you're answering the exam. And what to study? Of course, study your nursing. So now when you're taking this examination, think that you are a registered nurse. Never think that you are enrolled nurse. I think it is very difficult because only 60 items and you don't know what question they will bring up. So they can ask you geriatric, fundamentals, pharmacology, maternal, psychological, PSY, medical, surgical. So a lot. When I took that examination, I regret that I studied the NCLEX examination because nothing never come out. I didn't come out. So I guess the NCLEX examination is in another level of examination. But based on my experience when I'm taking this registered nurse examination, I can say that the examination is bookish, more on theory. So I guess it's better for you to read books when you take this examination. I noticed that the exam is repeating. It is repeating, but they will change the question. Then they will change the answer. Same, same topic, but they will just uh, revise the question. It's good to read those previous exam. But of course, they will not release the previous examination, right? So better ask. You can search it in the internet. Some people, they post it. And also, you can ask your friends who 
have taken this examination. When I took this registered nurse examination, I took leave as well. <laughs> I took leave again. I only take two weeks <laughs> to study. <laughs> one of my friend also never took leave. And one of my friend take like one week. One of us passed the examination. <laughs> so it depends how smart are you, I guess. <laughs> so I guess for me, I'm always very anxious. I'm very anxious about taking the examination because I'm afraid to fail the examination. By the way, I have one colleague. She's really smart. She remembered for 50 items, 50 items of the question. And that time, after she took the exam, she shared to me what are the question. So those question, I studied it. And when I took the exam, some of it came up. Good news about this is I have friend who have taken this exam recently and according to her, most, most, you see, most, most of the question that I gave it to her, most of the question that I give it to her came out again in her examination. So of course, before you take the exam, you are already exposed. You have work experience. So you can apply that while doing your examination. But make sure when you apply it, it is theoretically correct. And never apply if it's not theoretically correct. So I noticed the exam is really bookish. I hope guys have learned something new again. And for those who are taking the examination, good luck. And I hope you pass the examination and I'm sure you will pass the examination. Like what I said, it's like 90% who take the exam will pass. So it's like 10 to 5% only that you will fail the examination. But never underestimate the exam, okay? I'm not saying don't study at all, but don't underestimate the examination. Because this examination, once you fail, you don't know if your employer will ask you to take again. You can take it again, but it depends on your employer if they will submit it again, your application. Okay? So better prepare. So that is my tip. Okay, guys. So thank you for watching again. So thank you for watching again. So if you have questions, just comment down below. So and also if I give any wrong information you can comment down below as well and also if you have suggestion of any content you can comment down below so and again and again thank you very much hope you like this content so don't forget to like and share and subscribe bye bye